This is a show provided by Ticket Stubs and Cassette Tapes, my main podcast show. Uh, You can find that on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, uh, Stitcher, a few other sites, Amazon Music, so you can find that there. The Ecto-1 Radio Show, you can find this on all of those podcast sites as well as YouTube. So we have, you know, many different avenues for listening, uh, depending on what your preference is. If you are just a listener of Ecto-1 Radio, I would recommend checking out um, the other podcast. I haven't uploaded a show in a little while. I haven't had, you know, a a ton of time to catch up on the newer movies. Um, We haven't done a classic movie in a while on there, but we're going to get to it. So, um, yeah, but check that out. I've done a ton of, you know, classic movie reviews on there i've done some newer movie reviews check out the youtube channel we do um you know i've i've done some gameplay of ghostbusters spirits unleashed i've done some gameplay of ghostbusters the video game remastered from 2009 so plenty to check out there also check out our facebook and twitter page as well um you can find that at ticket stubs and cassette tapes give us a follow Um, I sure would appreciate it. All right. For today's episode of Ecto-1 Radio, I want to start out by saying this. You know, I mentioned a few days ago on my last episode that I was going to release the next episode. Um, For me, it would have been last night, which was Ghostbusters Day. Um, As I'm recording, as you're listening, or as I'm going to put this out, the day I'm going to put this out is going to be Saturday Saturday. Uh, June the 10th, so it's a couple days past Ghostbusters Day. So unfortunately, I didn't make that timeline, but there is a reason for it, Um, and that reason is we just didn't get a lot of news um, in the way of Ghostbusters stuff. I mean, we got a little bit, but, you know, not any real huge stuff, um, save for one, one sort of huge thing, but... Um, yeah, just not a ton of stuff. So, you know, I, I knew it kind of, it wasn't urgent. It wasn't super urgent to get a new episode out, but I did want to do it before the weekend was up. So I'm excited to hop on here and talk about the stuff we did see as well as a few other things. There have been some interesting developments in the Ghostbusters world within the last, uh, 12 hours or so. And, A lot of you might not be aware of it. Um, In fact, I'm pretty sure that a lot of you won't be aware of of what I'm going to talk about today um, with what we've what we've had, uh, you know, sort of happen today. Um, And so I'm going to talk about that, too. It's it. Don't worry. I'm not. It's there's no spoilers with anything I'm going to say. But there is something spoiler related that I'm going to talk about. I'm not going to talk about the context or the detail. I'm not going to give you any of the information that was let out, but I'm just kind of going to, you know, go over, you know, what kind of happened. So, um, you're safe. You're safe. If you're someone who doesn't want to know much of anything, you're safe. Um, so, you know, you're good there, but, um, yeah, I just wanted to hop on and talk about what we saw for Ghostbusters day and the very first thing that we did see was a short video put out uh, from the Ghostbusters account uh, that had uh, Finn Wolfhard, Paul Rudd, uh, McKenna Grace, Carrie Coon, Dan Aykroyd, um, let's see Annie Potts, um, Ernie Hudson. I think that was everybody, and um, Celeste O'Connor as well. So it it had all, you know, 
the main actors who are going to be in the movie. Um, pretty much the only face we were missing um, that I, you know, I know at this point it's almost kind of a given that he's he's going to be in the movie. It's again, I don't find this spoiler. It's it's been everywhere. Um, his presence and that's Bill Murray. Um, we didn't see him. You know, he could not be in the movie, but I mean, if we're being honest with ourselves, the guy's been in London for, you know, forever. So, um, I would probably say it's, it's, it's pretty safe to say he's going to be in the film, but we had, you know, the main cast, uh, in this video and they were basically just wishing all the fans a happy Ghostbusters day. Um, and there wasn't much to it other than the background setting. You know, about half of them were, were set in front of the Ecto-1 with sort of a green-lit background. It looked good. Everything looked cool. However, um, Dan Aykroyd and uh, Logan Kim, I think, if I'm correct, were set in the firehouse setting. Um, they were each in sort of a different area of the firehouse and so you kind of got some Easter eggs behind them, some cool stuff to look at from the set of, uh, you know, the firehouse. And it, everything looked good. It looked cool. It looked very much like it did back in the back in the olden days. Um, and I'll tell you what, they they really put the time into this to, to recreate that set. So it looks really cool. Um, you know, very much takes me back to my childhood you know, seeing inside that firehouse in the um, in the movies, as, as well as the real Ghostbusters show. You know, it was really cool seeing that. But again, not much there. Just a short little Happy Ghostbusters Day, uh, an, you know, announcement from them. Uh, nothing from Jason Rotman, nothing from Gil Kennan there. So we did get that sort of earlier in the day. We did have a TikTok video that was released by McKenna Grace. Now I saw this from some other people. I'm not a user of TikTok, um, but uh, it was a pretty cool video. It was her just lip syncing over a song while she was walking through the bottom of the firehouse set and then outside so that we could see the sound stage that they've built the firehouse on. And she actually, you know, the camera turns around and shows the outside of the firehouse um, in pretty good detail, and it's really awesome. Again, they they not only built the firehouse in its entirety on this set, they have built the streets outside of the firehouse surrounding it. So when you walk out from it, or when she walks out from it in the video, you can see the street and the corner. Um, I'm assuming they're using that to show the firehouse leaving uh, or entering, or I'm, I'm sorry, the Ecto-1 leaving or entering the firehouse and so that those shots can match up. So it's going to be really cool because that's kind of the first time, even though, you know, everything around it's going to kind of be CG'd. It's going to be really cool to see um, the in the interior and the ex exterior of the Ghostbusters firehouse from the movies match up. Really, for kind of the first time in our life, it's going to be cool to see that. Um so I'm excited for that. I, I knew they would do a great job with this, uh, the set. They did a fantastic job with the, you know, Egon's house in Afterlife and the way they built that on a set. They actually built two full copies of that house, one on the real farm and one on a soundstage and just did a fantastic job. You know, this crew that um, is working on this movie, I know, is, works very hard to get all these details right. So... For me, being a Ghostbusters fan, I you know I'm super appreciative of that. Um, so we did get that, and that was something that was heavily talked about. Um, as far as the comics go, we got our first glimpse at uh, the new Dark Horse comic, Ghostbusters comic. Now we don't know really anything about it, but they did release some sketches of uh, Mr. Grubus, Gruberson, um, Callie. Uh, Phoebe and Trevor. So the characters from Afterlife who are going to be in the, the newer movie as well. Um, they did release sketches of those rough sketches for the comics. That's really all we got on it. We got no other details on the comment when it's going to release, what it's going to be about. But 
I think it's pretty safe to say they will be a, an active part of that comic line now. So um, that's pretty cool. I will definitely read the comics. Um, I've read some of the Ghostbusters comics, some of the IDW ones. I wasn't a huge fan of them. I, you know, they were okay. Um, I did used to read the Slimer and the Real Ghostbusters comics. I still have several copies of that comic series from back in the day. Um, and I did enjoy those, but um, I, I didn't really read the IDW um, line very much. Um, just wasn't something I was super interested in. Um, like I said, I read some of it, but I think for me it was a lot of the art style I just didn't love. Um, and that's a big thing in comics. Sometimes the art style works for you and sometimes it doesn't. And, um, but I'm appreciative that we, you know, whether I like it or don't like it, I'm appreciative that we're getting more Ghostbusters in the comics world because, um, I'm still a comic book reader and I know a lot of you are out there as well. A lot of people are. And so that's a medium that I would love to see keep thriving and, um, you know, produce for Ghostbusters, uh, which is really cool. So we did get that bit of news. Now I'll get here to the biggest thing that we got because I believe that was pretty much it um, as far as announcements. I do know that Hasbro um, announced some sort of uh, price reduction on the Selfie series, the Ghostbusters Selfie series, or probably, I think it's just the Selfie series as a whole. Maybe maybe it was just for Ghostbusters, I don't remember. Uh, but it was like a 20% um, discount. Um, I don't know if that lasted just through Ghostbusters Day or if it was going for a few days or, or whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you're somebody who are, is into the Selfie series, check that out. Um, for me, I was thinking about ordering one, but after seeing some of the... Um, uh, seeing some of the results of, of some of the Selfie series figures along with the price tag, it was just not something that interested me right now. Um you know, I know a lot of people were super disappointed with um, the detail that came out in the in the action figure once they got it shipped to them. Um, and again, for me, the price tag was a big uh, holdup. I, I, you know, even with like the the Ghostbusters, the Black Series figures, which to me were really cool. Um, I, I do own some of them. I own the Egon figure and the Gozer figure, um, and I've looked for some of the. Uh, you know, there's a comic book store not far from where I live that actually has the rest of them, the original Ghostbusters figures. Um, and I've looked heavily into uh, to getting them. But, it, you know, to me, the price on them just hasn't dropped in years. And, I, and you know, I just... I, I have a thing about buying stuff that I feel is overpriced. And, and you know, um, I could probably Amazon on them for cheaper, but... Um, you know, I just haven't yet, but I do like the, the black series figures. I know some people have their issues with them. I do enjoy them. I think a lot of them are, are pretty, pretty well detailed. I mean, they're not super, super detailed or anything, but they, they do look pretty good to me. Um, but, um, yeah, if you're somebody who's into the Hasbro stuff, check out the, the selfie series. If it's something that interests you, I know they have like Ghostbusters and I think Power Rangers and, uh, I think some other superhero, they probably have some Marvel stuff. I don't know, but, um, yeah, check it out. So let's get to the big thing. Um, I don't want to bury the lead too long here. I know that, you know, everybody saw this and this is what everybody's been talking about. Um, the Gil Cannon initially on Instagram released a, um, a new logo for the new film. Um, and I know Jason Reitman sent it out as well, as well as the uh, regular Ghostbusters accounts on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, whatever. So we have a new logo. And if you're somebody who hasn't seen the new logo and you don't even want to know about it, um, look, there's not much to it. But go ahead and I'm g I'll give you a little tiny spoiler warning here. You can click away. Again, there's not really much detail or context to it, so I don't. I think you're okay, but um, I, I do want to, you know, kick that warning out there just in case anybody, you know, doesn't they want to go in cold. Um, but we did get a new logo, and the logo appears to have it appears to be like a frozen logo with icicles coming off of it, which 
again, gives us kind of nothing, which is okay. You know, I'm not saying that we should have gotten some sort of detail or context or description to that. Um, but it is something that looks like it's going to be new and different, um, which is intriguing. It's very intriguing. Now, it's hard to talk about that um, without talking about this next thing. And this next thing is some stuff that came out today on Facebook. And it ended up in a lot of Ghostbusters groups. So if you're on you know, any Facebook Ghostbusters groups, Reddit groups, whatever, and you don't want spoilers, I'm just telling you right now, if you haven't been on those groups in a couple days... Some of this stuff is out there, and it's not getting moderated very well. I know that a lot of people have reported this stuff, but as to my knowledge, as of like an hour or two ago when I'm recording this, a lot of it still has not been taken down, and I don't I, I don't know if the studio, if Sony is not aware of these leaks yet, but um, I'm assuming they would try really hard to get this stuff taken down, so... I don't know where they came from. I don't know. I, I know that they, through people who know things, I know that they're legit. But I I don't know how they really got out there. What what has leaked is just some pictures. I'm not going to, don't worry. I'm Like I said at the top, I'm not going to tell you anything about them. I did happen upon them myself looking at them without any spoiler tags. And I thought they were fan made. I did not realize until I had looked through all of them and looked in the comment section until it, that they were legit. So I I looked at them um, again, just thinking they were fan made. So um, uh, you know, sucks for me, but um, I'm not super disappointed that I saw them. I mean, I I kind of am just because I want to go in cold too. But um, you know. You know, I'm, I, I just don't find any purpose in being too bummed about it. I saw what I saw. Um, but, but, um, I want to link this back up to what we did get released. Um, I will say that the concept art does give more context and detail to the logo that we saw. So that's all I'm going to say. Um, I don't think that gives anything away to anybody. Um, but... Now it is kind of hard for me to sit back and speculate um, with you uh, on what that logo could mean because, quite frankly, I've seen what that logo means to some extent. So um, I'm not going to give anything away. Don't worry. This is a safe podcast. I I won't ever give anything away. I would never do that. Um, But I will say this. Again, without saying anything to you, um, I, I at least I enjoyed what I saw in the picture, so that's good. Um, you know, it does make me more excited for the movie. Um, so I think that that's something that I can certainly share with you is just the fact that I I enjoyed what I saw. So um, that's cool. Again, I I wish I wouldn't have seen it. I wish that. Um, I wish that people who work so hard on these movies and don't want this stuff to get out there, I wish that they could, you know, get their due diligence and have this stuff taken down. Um, But unfortunately, as again, as I sit here recording, this stuff has been up for several hours today. So I don't know that it will be taken down if it hasn't by now. Um, again, I know that a lot of them have been reported. I think some of them have been taken down, but the internet's a big place. There's a lot of Ghostbusters groups. It's hard to contain all of it. And it seems like once a spoiler or a leak gets out on one site or one group or whatever, it's going to end up in almost all of them, uh, if not all of them within a matter of, you know, a couple hours. So, you have to be careful out there. If you're a fan and you're like me and you want to go in cold, look, um, at worst, we're probably less than a year away from this movie releasing, which I know is a long time, but it's really not a long time in the terms of filmmaking. So, um, you know, at best, we're 
you know, six months away at worst. We're, you know, maybe nine months away from this movie uh, releasing. So I say that to say this. It may be time uh, to start thinking about muting some of these groups if you're a part of them or just getting out all together and waiting till the movie comes out to get back in. You know, I know that especially with places like Reddit, a lot of stuff goes unmoderated. You know, a lot of stuff gets out there. From my taste, I'll just tell you, I, w- I just wouldn't get on the Reddit altogether. I, I think there's a lot of, uh, you know, really not so good people on there. And it's, it's in the Facebook, in the, uh, excuse me, in the Ghostbusters group on there. Um, you know, I, I, I'm, I remember probably about a year or more ago, um, there was a thread on there about, you know, you know, after some time has passed, you know, wh- what do you think about Ghostbusters Afterlife now? And I simply said, I, you know, I enjoyed it. Uh, I, I still enjoy it a lot. I, th- I think it's a really good love letter to the fans. I think it's, um, I think it's a pretty well written movie. I think that it makes sense. Uh, you know, I know that some people struggle with that, but to me, everything kind of made sense. And there's some stuff in there that didn't get explained that I just really didn't need explanation on because I don't need explanation for everything. Um, it was a bit nostalgic, but to me, that's a good thing for a franchise that's almost been dead and buried for so long i i didn't mind having some nostalgia and i really loved the movie and and enjoyed it and i got massively downvoted on reddit for that in in a ghostbusters forum uh mind you so you know i got i pretty much got hated on and got a lot of comments negative comments i got you know pretty much hated on for enjoying a ghostbusters movie which look This franchise is no stranger to, um, you know, div- divisiveness. I mean, I know, you know, with the Ghostbusters 2016, but here's the thing. You know, people, like, I- I'll tell you this. Like, this podcast for me has kind of become a pretty good, like, small community, um, which is fine with me. And I enjoy, you know, that aspect of it, just having people listening and being able to talk to you guys and just get thoughts out there and have people listen to them. And, you know, there is people that listen to this and that's awesome to me. Um, and I hope you enjoy it and I hope you get enjoyment out of it and, you know, just building like a small community here. And the thing for me is, and I made this clear up front on ticket stubs and cassette tapes when it came to just fandom in general, but I'll, you know, do an extension of that here for ghostbusters. Um, you like what you like okay you like what you like if you like the 2016 movie that's great and look if you get on the facebook or you get on the twitter or whatever and you say i really like that movie it is my opinion that people should not immediately jump in there and attack you for liking it okay and that's really my biggest problem with a lot of the fandom nowadays, not just Ghostbusters, but anything, you know, is that you can't just like what you, you want to like. And I see a lot of people getting, getting attacked for, you know, uh, throughout any fandoms of any movie series or franchise. I get, I see people get attacked for liking things, you know? Um, and I'm not talking about disagreeing with someone's opinion that happens. We, we all have different opinions, but to me, there's a fine line in between. I just disagree with you. I didn't like it. And somebody, you know, full on attacking you for, for liking something. Um, to me, that's ignorant. It's just completely ignorant. And, you know, there's no place for that here. I'll, I'll just tell you that right now. So if you don't like something, if you don't, if you didn't like Ghostbusters Afterlife or whatever, you don't like Ghostbusters 2, whatever, you know, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. But don't just hate on other people because they did like it. Okay? You know, just keep that away. Um, Because in my community here, I'll just tell you, that's not welcome. 
I don't welcome that attitude here. I don't. I just don't go for it. I, I don't tolerate it. You know, it's it's not something that um, I put up with. It's not something I'll, I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to have a discussion with you on, you know, your hatred for something because I just don't care. I don't care that you didn't like it. Okay. If I like something, I enjoyed it. And I feel like when people attack you and get angry, they're almost angry that you did like it. And that's just, again, ignorance. And I don't go for it. If I like something, your opinion on it will not sway me one iota, one bit whatsoever. So, you know, I'm not saying we should love everything. And people get that twisted. People think, oh, you know, what's the word? They they use the word shill or whatever. You're just a shill. Um, no. No, no, no. But I'm allowed to like what I like. And all of you are allowed to like what you like. You're allowed to not like stuff. But do not attack other people for liking it. And that happens a lot. And I'm going to tie all this back into what I was originally saying. And that happens a lot I see on the Ghostbusters Reddit page. So um, my advice, stay away from there. You know, just stay away from there. You can find some other Ghostbusters groups that are a little more genuine, I think. Um, You know, Ghostbusters, it's not as bad. I think Star Wars, for me, is the worst I've seen in terms of that stuff. It's really hard to find a good Star Wars community to be a part of um, without getting attacked for things that you like. Um, You know, so, you know, that's just my opinion. That's my take on it. Um, so, you know, just, just sort of giving you a warning about spoilers, but also watch out what groups you're a part of. Just saying, um, whenever you are are having a good time and you're talking about stuff you like, you just shouldn't have to suffer through people who are going to attack you for, for liking what you like organically. You just shouldn't have to do that. That's not what fandom is about. That's not what it should be. This is not some sort of, uh, you know, political space uh where we should you know just attack each other and go at each other's throats when we disagree it should be a disagreement and that should be the end of it but unfortunately that's usually not how it goes but i'm not gonna rant on that too much longer i've i've ranted on that kind of stuff before it's it's one of my biggest um points of passion within fandom is is the way people act and uh you know i tend to get on a rant when i jump on it but going back to the logo, um, I can't give too much speculation on it uh, because I just know a little m- more now. Um, and I there's probably some of you listening who have seen the photos as well. So I'm not talking about anything you don't understand. Um, but, you know, I just don't want to talk too much because I don't want to give anything away. And that's, you know, that's kind of what I try to be. If I know something, I kind of want to just let that die with me and and not go to anybody else and let them have, you know, fresh eyes and ears when they go into a movie and, and, you know, let them just see stuff play out. Um, so yeah, just a heads up, stay away from spoilers. They're out there. They're out there for sure. Um, so that's pretty much all that we got for Ghostbusters Day. I know that um, I was honestly expecting some sort of Afterlife 2019 little teaser, something that was not from the even from the set, really, something that was not part of the movie. Just a little video, you know, it could be like a 15, 20 second video of maybe the firehouse and just maybe something happening. And if you don't know what I'm referencing, you can go back to like the very first teaser that came out for Afterlife. It was way before the movie released. And we didn't even know the a movie was coming out until like this thing dropped. Um, they did a great job of hiding it. And um, it, it it got everybody hyped to see Afterlife. And they did a great job with it. And I was expecting something in the vein of that, to be honest. Now, maybe that was just an unfair expectation. I'm sure it was. But I did think if they pulled that off for Afterlife, maybe they could pull that off for this movie. 
unfortunately they didn't um they didn't do anything like that so you know i knew that there wouldn't be an actual trailer or anything we're just too early in the in the production process for that but um yeah i hope everybody kind of had tempered expectations for what we we would see um so that way you weren't disappointed now um today as i am recording um uh, it is Saturday, June tenth. So the uh, the the little um, post Ghostbusters Day uh, little you know sort of New York celebration is going to happen at the firehouse today. That's the one I've been talking about, where you know there's going to be uh, different Ghostbusters organizations there. They're going to have you know live music with the Alessi brothers performing "Saving the Day." Um, you know, there'll be some signings, autograph signings, um, photo opportunities, stuff like that. So if you're in the New York area and you want to check that out, um, you know, go check that out. And, uh, you know, I'd love to see, you know, plenty of pictures and videos come from, uh, that event so we can, we can see what all happened and it's, you know, it's going to be an exciting little event. Now we're not going to get any, you know, obviously news coming out of that event this is a completely a fan held event so there's nothing you know special about it in terms of um you know sony or anything but um you know it is cool and and you love to see stuff like that it's for a good cause um you know it's it's a, a sort of a charity thing so um yeah it's it's going to be cool and i'll be glad to cover the de- whatever details come out of that on the next episode um so that's sort of the next thing to look forward to there. Um, we again, I think I pretty much covered everything that we got for for Ghostbusters Day. Um, there's just not a lot that's going to happen for the next little while now. I will tell you, um, I will continue to do the show. We'll talk about some stuff. If we get anything that's released, we'll talk about that. If not, we'll just talk about some Ghostbusters topics. And um, I'm sure there might be some merch and stuff that drops between now and, uh, you know, a few months from now. So we can talk about that. As far as a trailer goes, I would not expect anything until probably late September more probably probable it's going to be maybe October-ish before we get a, a trailer dropped. I know, and this is, you know, con- still considering uh, that the movie's going to release in December. Again, I'm super skeptical of that. I think everybody is at this point. But, again, I mean, we've went through CinemaCon and they haven't changed the date. We've went through uh, Ghostbusters Day now and they haven't changed the date. I know Dan Aykroyd said last week it'll come out at the end of the year or spring, so obviously it's still up in the air, but um, I don't know. I mean, we don't have anything to tell us any different other than December at this point, so um, you know we're still going to hold to that date until they tell us otherwise, but if it is going to come out in December, again, I would say probably October is your best shot of a trailer. And that's not a lot of time. I get it, but marketing is just it's it's different nowadays. It varies. You know, you have some movies that will release trailers super early, and you have some that will wait and do a big marketing push right at the end. Um, so you know, who knows? Um, if it's the spring, I would say it's going to be closer to Christmas before you get uh, an actual trailer. So. Um, somewhere in the fall time towards the end of the year, that's, you know, it, we could, we're talking anywhere between, um, October to December is kind of your time frame for a trailer, depending on the release date and how that changes. So it's going to be a while until we see footage from this. Now I'm sure that there will be more spoilers and leaks and we will hear things, um, between now and then it's just super hard to contain, uh, a film set at this point you know they're they're filming some in new york i know that's been out there we talked about it some um so you know things are moving and when things are moving stuff gets out and you know there's really not a, a good way to control all of that so you just kind of have to keep your your 
your senses uh, up and uh, try to avoid as much as you can. But um, we will talk about anything they tell us, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, you know, when will we get a title? When will we get even a teaser? You know, who knows? But, um, you know, one thing's for sure. When we do get it, we'll, we'll talk about it here in, in pretty good detail. So, guys, this has been another episode of Ecto-1 Radio. Thank you for joining us here today. Um, it was a good Ghostbusters day. I saw a lot of cool uh, costumes and dress up and, uh, you know, a lot, you know, I saw some, some fan-made stuff. And, um, of course, we got the stuff released from Sony a few things here and there so um you know that was cool enjoyed it it's the 39th so you know next year's the big 40 and uh we can you know the movie will be out by then i'm sure and uh we'll have a ton of stuff to talk about at that point but we're a long way off from that so we'll we'll keep it in the here and now and uh we'll continue the build up build up of excitement to a ghostbusters 4 and man i am excited for it um so Thanks for joining us here today. Um, I really appreciate it. Next episode will drop on as we currently sit, unless anything changes. The next episode will drop on June the 18th, Sunday, the June the 18th. So keep an eye out for that. Um, make sure that again, anywhere you listen to regular podcast, um, make sure you give us a follow on ticket stubs and cassette tape so that you can keep up with us. If you like listening through, uh, YouTube, uh, give give us a subscribe there and just make sure that you're keeping up along with with all the releases and um, I sure enjoy your listening and um, you know I appreciate it and I just want to tell you that right off uh, here and and you know I will uh, I'll keep you updated on everything that we see but um, thank you and uh, have a good one